Hey guys, thanks for joining. This is going to be a short video with a few tips and tricks that I have learned along the way to make your stop motion animation even better. This is not a video that shows you how to operate a DSLR camera, um, tether it to your computer, edit in Lightroom or Premiere. I am assuming that you are either a photographer or at least you have enough knowledge using either a DSLR or your phone to shoot your own. And this is just some extra tips that will improve the look of your vi video along the way. That said, if you're interested in seeing a very detailed demonstration on how to do this with your phone and edit it in your phone, comment below or send me a message on Instagram because I am happy to do that next. Or if you're interested in learning how to shoot it with a DSLR camera, how to tether it to, computer, to your computer, how to edit it in Lightroom, how to edit in Premiere, all of those things. Let me know what would be helpful, helpful for you and I can create um, videos and newsletters in the future about that. So that said, here are just a handful of tips. Let's get started. Okay, first things first, no matter how simple your idea, make sure to sketch it out step for step and then follow that sketch as you move along. Second, you wanna make sure that all windows and curtains are closed. You don't want any extra natural light coming in that may change. You want your light to be constant. See, I'm using a constant light here on the right, yet there's shadows coming in from a light source on the other side. It's, it, do, it just doesn't look natural. So what I'm gonna do is turn this light off up ahead so you don't have different color light coming at it. Now take a look. The color is better, all of the shadows are on one side. See that left side right there? So there's not a bunch of different lights coming in from all directions. It will make all the difference. Next, you wanna make sure that your camera, whether it's a DSLR or a phone, is stable on a tripod and doesn't move. Once you have the camera set up, do not touch it. You want to fire it off remotely. Then you wanna make sure that you have your focus set to manual. I focused in on one of these avocados, turned it to manual, and now I'm shooting. You don't want the focus to change. Now, I'm shooting. Photo after photo after photo, moving it just a tiny bit at a time. Just be patient. It takes a lot of photos to make just a simple 30 second video. Next, I'm done, so I'm importing all of my photos into Adobe Lightroom. Here are all of the raw, unedited photos. What I do is I edit just one, and then I copy and paste those edits to the rest of the photos so that the color, the light, the edits, everything is consistent. Once all of the photos are edited, I export them, and then I bring them into Adobe Premiere Pro. Once I have all of my still images imported into Adobe Premiere Pro, or you could use Final Cut, or you, there's many apps on your phone you could use for this. I pull all of the individual photos down into the timeline, and then I decide how fast or slow I want this video to be. So what's the frame rate? Then I bring in a song, and voila, you have a stop motion video.